how would you say the moose been going? I think we are moved out, but not in the way like we're finished moving. Not in like a good way to be moved no, out? Like, <laughs> we're tired of moving. I would agree. We are, it feels like we've been moving forever. And uh, it also feels like my face is giant when I hold the camera. <laughs> like, Let's do that. That's better. <laughs> Man, we've just been we've been endlessly moving, and it's starting to wear on us. I, you may have noticed like some videos missing this week. <laughs> like nobody wants to see this anymore. <laughs> Today we are going to finish up going around the farm and throwing a lot of stuff away. It's stuff we've kept because we maybe thought we could use it some bed frames. I'm looking at what is on the trailer right now. The rotted pig ramp, an old door with a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you like do homesteading or farming, some of us, there's some people who do this and what happens is like any random thing that is free. Or a good price. Or a good price. You're like, oh, I could use that. So, I want to play a little game here. Ready? I'm going to show you things that in my past, regrettably, I thought I could use and so I took. And in the comments below, you tell me what you would use it for because some of you are going to be like, why are you throwing that out? A lot of you are going to be like, don't throw that out. And then others of you who are more like my wife are going to be like, trash. Let's play, what would you do? The top part of a bunk bed frame. What would you do? Giant stack of pallets. What would you do? Big green plastic wall movable things. What would you do? A giant blue plastic water tank. What would you do? So I think some of you can understand my dilemma. It's all good stuff. I could do a million things with it. And others of you can understand my dilemma where our property is chock full of useful things that we're never going to use. Okay. Hey. So do we have to bring them? It's Friday night. You ordered your pizza. Sit down, relax, and watch another episode. I'm John Kimianos. This is What Would You Do? Homesteading Edition. We're gonna go through the farm and ask that question and throw as much more stuff as we can in this dumpster and then move the rest of it. In addition to junking a bunch of stuff and packing all the other stuff, uh, there's the endless taking down of the things you've been working so hard at for all these years. So, we're going today, we're taking down fencing that you know, we remember putting up not too long ago. The garden fence, we just finished that. Now I gotta go take down the whole perimeter fence. I literally remember just doing that. I mean, you can see it in that video. I will never ever treat people who are moving the same. First off, it's a ton of work, which if you've ever moved, you're like, yeah, duh. Uh, you gotta pack up everything your own, your entire life, and if you're moving a farm and a homestead and a big family like we are, uh, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Sorry, there's a lot of bugs here. But then, the funny part is while you're out there moving all your stuff, it's physically demanding. But it's also kind of emotionally taxing because if you like where you are and you're leaving that place, uh, but probably even if you didn't like where you are, you're still gonna have some fond memories. And as you're walking through, like literally undoing the work you've been doing for the last you know, six years, you're walking through the place that you have all these fond memories and that you work so hard at. And so not only is it physically taxing, but it's a bit emotionally taxing because you're looking out and you're saying, oh man, I remember putting this fencing up before we got our cow. It was gonna be up for our cow, we were excited. I remember filling this this area right here with my dad. My dad was here in the big machines and we were 
putting fill in because we knew the pasture needed to be more flat. I remember planting this pasture. I remember being out here with my kids, with the hand spreaders, and they were just dumping seed on the ground. And uh, you know, I probably spent a hundred more dollars on seed than I needed to because of what my kids just wound up dumping in the spot. It's just, you're literally walking through memory lane, taking it apart. And you feel the entire time tired, and then emotionally you're, you're feeling bittersweet about the place that you've worked so hard at for the last few years. And then when you wind up bumping into friends or family and they're like, oh, we're so sad, we're gonna miss you so much. You're just like, I have no more feelings. <laughs> so if you're moving in the future and you bump into me, here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, hey, we heard about your big move. That is so exciting. Here, this is a gift certificate to Captain's Pizza, Beers, and Bacon. They deliver while you're packing the truck. Dinner's on us. By the way, yes, you will be missed, but we're not sad. We're just excited for you. Yeah, that's, that's how I'm gonna treat people who are moving. By the way, that wasn't a gift card. That was just a leaf. If you're a friend and you're watching this, you don't have to get me gift cards. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's, that's how I'm gonna treat people who are moving from now on, because But, lest you call me a whiner, it is all going to be a distant memory shortly that we'll look back on happily because this great move, while it is tiring and a little bit emotional, will put us in an amazing place that is an awesome spot to raise our kids. And uh, we are very, very grateful. So I do not want to sound like a whiner. And uh, so I'll stop whining. And now watch me take down more of the fencing that I just put up. No more whining. What are you doing there? Tell us about that. This is something we never do with our posts, but since we're moving, we thought we'd take advantage of this nifty little feature they have of they kind of all click together. Just easier to care. Just easy. <laughs> Just easier to carry that way in bundles. Got a crisis of space right now. We were planning on just having the livestock trailer and a U-Haul trailer, but we're thinking we had a little more stuff than we had originally anticipated, and it might be tight squeezing everything in. Just trying to make everything fit is gonna be a challenge. Rice face. Rice boogie face. I don't have light. We're using the car as a glorified wheelbarrow. Because we're too tired to just like drag the stuff up the road. So let's go pick up more stuff, dudes. Okay, bye. 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 Kids are just thrilled. See you later. Yeah. I love you. Bye. I think, we have a, I think we gave ourselves a flat Hi, tire. Mommy. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think our tire back here is left. I'm getting Bye, Mama. Oh. oh, man. What is it? 
I have no idea. I have no idea what that is. Dang it. Alright, well. That'll about do it for today. I'm not sure what that is, but it's definitely bleeding their tire out. So are you going to go drive it and get it taken out and get a patch on it? Yeah, better do that. Alright. Better do that. I gotta go get a tire fix, so tune in for the next fun Moving is Awesome video. I'm not whining. I promise I wouldn't whine anymore. Moving is awesome. At the tire place. And uh, I don't want to sit here at the tire place and be depressed. So we're going out for a beer. What is that hat? <laughs> I'm easy to spot. <laughs> All right. Beer time. Oh, doing? speaking of beer time, look at that. You came ready. I did come ready. Accountant Mike to the rescue, everybody. What happened to you? He might give me a hard time about raising goats and things, but uh, saving the day with beer time. I'm gonna shut this vlog down. You wanna shut it down, Alf? Sure, yeah. Hi, people. Bye bye. See ya. Where do you wanna go?